hello guys and welcome back to my channel and hello to you the new subscribers uh, today I'm going to talk about seven basic moments of functional training and they are the squat the lunge the rotation the hinge push and pull and gait make sure you stick around until the end to find out all the seven basic moments of functional training uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the button down below and let's go okay guys the first moment here is the hinge hinge is a moment at the hips joints as you see a single leg deadlift reach helps you with your balance make sure your hips are straight and shoulders are back and down and your core is engaged when doing this moment and as you go down your eyes should be following your body as you bend down and making sure that foot is facing down another variation of the hinge is the bend um, as you can see this form will help you with your deadlift form and make sure every time you do any movement make sure your shoulders are back and down your core is engaged and make sure that back is straight the second and third moment for functional training is the squat and rotation here I have put together the moment which you can see I have squatted down and rotate as I come up when performing this movement make sure the knees are not collapsing in when in a squat position make sure your knees are out your back is straight and also when you rotate make sure your opposite foot is turning as you can see here the fourth moment here is the lunge making sure you are standing tall with shoulders back and down and your chest is open and when stepping forward you should be in a 90 degrees angle this will help you with your posture and your range of motions another variation of lunges is a reverse lunge at curtsy lunge this is good for your glutes and your legs as you can see so you can add this to your next workout when you work on your legs the fifth moment is the push and i chose the knee push-up as you can see this helps build your upper body strength while doing this moment, make sure your hands should be shoulder width apart, making sure your core is engaged and your back is straight. As you lower your body down, your elbows should be in a 45 degrees angle. Another variation of this moment is the incline push-up. The incline push-up works your chest more as this position takes away the pressure of your arms and shoulders. Remember to keep your core tight and your back straight. The sixth moment is the pull. There are so many different pulls exercises that you can try, but this is the one I chose. You can use dumbbell, kettlebell, and also a barbell. These moments help strengthen your shoulders and your upper back. Making sure your shoulders are back and down when doing this moment and your chest is open your core is engaged and you should pull up until your elbows are higher than your shoulders pause right under your gym then slowly lower the weight back down and repeat the movement make sure you have control the seventh moment is the gait gait is basically how we walk or move on foot this is what we do all day every day right and we should do this in a proper manner as it does affect our posture here I am doing a farmer's walk with two kettlebells and also with one kettlebell. Things to remember, make sure your feet are hip width apart, your arms are on the side with your shoulders back and down and your chest is open and keep your core tight. Walking with small steps and try not to swing the weights as you walk. Another variation here is the overhead carry and remember your arm is straight and you're not leaning towards the opposite side. That's it guys, thanks again for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the button down below and we'll see you next time.